Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Taylor and today we're going to be uh, doing a brief introduction on how to set up commands in AutoHotKey. So pretty much what we're going to be doing today is setting up a macro key to automatically enter a command for us so that way we don't have to type it so many times. Uh, this is set up for a game that I play that you have to type this quite a few times before you finally get to what you want. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, I'm assuming that you already have this program downloaded. If you don't, check out the description and you can download it for yourself and figure out how to do it. It has a really nice installer, so it's not really difficult to install, but uh, I'm not going to go through that step. So what you're going to do is get to your uh, desktop here and then right click new and then go down to auto hotkey script. If you have the program downloaded and this still isn't here, just go ahead and restart your computer and it should appear. Okay, so we're just going to rename this. I'm just going to rename it tutorial. Um, and then we're going to right click and edit script. So pretty much the only thing that I need this to do is whenever I type something in on my keyboard, it needs to send something out. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this up caret. And what that does is it just tells the program that you have to be holding the control key for the button to be pressed and to execute this command. And then we're going to do the S key because I want to do control S to, you know, do this command and then two colons, enter tab, and then we're going to send comma. And then right here is where the command is going to be or whatever you want it to send out. And we're going to do colon colon reset task, enter return. So pretty much what this is going to do is every single time I do control S, it's going to type out reset task. And what I want it to do is do reset task and then enter. And it's not as easy as just adding another line in here. What you're going to have to do is do bracket, enter, close bracket. Still easy, but some people might have issues with that. So we're going to do file save. I'm going to go ahead and run. And then just to test it out, control S. Types it out and presses enter for me. If you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, leave them in the comments below or send me a message somehow, and I will try to get to you as soon as possible, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.